hi this video is based on one of my youtube comments so the question here is can you please create a video showing how to select one file from document library containing multiple files and send it on an email okay so this is my document library called test aj doc lib so the plan is you know you so need to select one file and send an email so for this what we need to do here is we need to click we need to go to the document library click on these three dots here we click on the automate oh, sorry integrate then power automate create a new flow so that will take you to some templates you can select any template you want i'm going to select one of the template which is uh, the task one i think it's from the fourth one i think see this is one i'm going to select okay then create flow the next step we need to look here is the uh, there are a couple of things you need to look here is this is from based on a template it's just creating it okay so you can you notice that because we created that from the uh, sharepoint uh, library and um, the it it creates under the doc uh, the default environment okay so that's always it creates whenever you say uh, select a file or select a list or whatever it is the flow always create in your default environment okay now the next thing is we are going to edit this um, the flow which created i'm going to go to the old designer the first uh, this, uh, the very first thing is you need to delete this step we don't want this our aim is to you know send this uh, as an email with an attachment okay and change this to uh, select a file and send email that's it yeah okay so this one here we need to do a couple of things because we created from the template and i don't want any input i'm going to delete all this okay all done so for a selected file that's what that is get file properties just remove that and select the for a select id okay you can use that i think but i'm going to use you know this is more readable i think here we go that's the id there yeah so we got that the next step we want is again going to the sharepoint connector look for the get file content here it is so there what we're looking here is again select the site okay file identifier this is quite crucial here so the identifier we need to use here is there are lots of ids here the list id we can't use it from the get that is associated with with that file so there is something called identifier here if you keep scrolling down you should be able to see here Here we, here we go so if you search it always you can see that too yep see it says here value that can be used in file related actions so you need to use this you can't use any other ids here okay that's the one you need the next step is quite straightforward use your you know the email connector so i'm going to use my uh, outlook connector here and uh, send an email okay it's not all indicated that thing looks like right that's done and select the email you want to email to, uh, to and i'm going to put some subject called demo uh, file attachment again something in the body demo then click on the show advanced options so here you need to select the file name okay again you can search here with file name see that file name with extension that's what we want select that and then the content so you can get the content from the previous step which is the get file content you can see that here file content that's it then save this so once you saved the flow is preparing to uh, you know put all the right things uh, under the document library as well so that users can select and 
run the flow. Okay, so let's wait for that. Right, it's saved and it says ready to test. So that means we can click the back button. Okay, now going back to our document library, I'm going to use customer template PDF here. Select that. Uh, just do a refresh beforehand. I'm going to do a big refresh because you know we created a flow and that's going to execute from here. So and now select the file. So I want to you know email this file. Click on that. You should be able to see here. Select a file and send email. That's the flow I just created. Okay. Then select that flow. And the next step is uh, uh, click and run. That's it. Okay, click continue, run the flow. There we go, that's done. So that means if I go back here and click refresh, that succeeded. So if I open the run history, I can see you know everything ran successfully. Hopefully, I I'm getting my email now in any minute. Right, I received my email now. If I open the customer template, you can see my PDF file, which I just attached in my email. Okay, so remember, you need to use some right IDs here. And also the main thing is, it won't create in your other environments. It always creates in your default environment. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.